Now, if you're a Mac user and you want to do screen recordings, then you probably know that you can use ScreenShot, a part of QuickTime Player, to record your screen. It's a simple and easy way to get a high quality recording, including a voiceover of your Mac screen. However, there are a few limitations. For example, if you want to include computer sound in your screen recording, you can't do that natively using ScreenShot slash QuickTime Player. You're gonna need a third party audio application, something like Black Hole or I Show You Audio Capture. Likewise, if you want to include your talking head or face cam in your screen recording, you can't do that natively in ScreenShot or QuickTime Player either. Now there are hacks to get around some of these limitations and I demonstrate a few of those hacks on my channel. But what if you don't wanna go through the extra steps involved? What if you wanna stay with free screen recording software that allows you to easily include computer sound and face cam video? Well, then you should take a hard look at OBS Studio for Mac. Now, before you click off of this video thinking, OBS is just for live streaming. It's just for gamers. It's too complicated. It doesn't work very well on the Mac. Allow me to show you how straightforward it is to create a high quality screen recording, including voiceover, computer sound, and face cam video using OBS Studio for Mac. Now, before I jump into the steps, there are a couple of things you need to have to make this process straightforward. The first one is you need to be running Mac OS 13 Ventura or higher. And two, you need to be running the latest version, version 28 or later of OBS Studio for Mac. OBS version 28 has a great new feature made especially for screen recording that I'll show you in a moment, so stay with me. Let's jump in. And so we're gonna start here on the OBS project website. This is where you download OBS. And so we have a few choices here of versions of OBS that we can download. So we're gonna select a Mac OS, and you can see there are two versions of the Mac OS OBS. So there's Mac OS Intel and Mac OS Apple Silicon. Now I'm running an M1 Mac Studio and that's Apple Silicon. So if you're running an M1 or M2 Mac, you'd be selecting Apple Silicon. So I've already downloaded and installed OBS Studio on my Mac, so I'm not gonna go through the process. It's very simple, just follow the instructions. When you launch it here, the first thing you're gonna see is this auto configuration wizard come up. Now we're not gonna use that because I'm trying to keep this demo and this process of recording your screen as simple as possible. So I'm just gonna cancel out of that. Okay, so looking at the OBS interface, you can see we have a bunch of different sort of areas here or panels. This main one here in the middle is the canvas. This is kind of like the preview window in an editing application. Anything that shows up here is what you're gonna be recording or if you're live streaming, streaming. So in that case, it's important to sort of set up your canvas appropriately for your recording for your project. So we're gonna do that by going down to the control area here and selecting settings. And up pops the settings panel. Then we're gonna go here in the settings panel on the left-hand side and go to video. And you can see we have base canvas resolution, output scaled resolution. So the base canvas resolution is the, is the resolution of the canvas, that big black area right here. So 1920 by 1080 is what I'm gonna be recording. Now the output resolution, typically I keep it the same as the base canvas because it can be different. So you can have a canvas that's 1920 by 1080, but record in 1280 by 720 or stream in 1280 by 720. But I like to keep things the same. So I'm gonna make that 1920 by 1080. So the recording at the end of this project or this process will be 1920 by 1080. Then down here, common FPS values. This is the frames per second. And you can select whatever you want here. I'm just gonna keep it at 30. And then I'm gonna hit apply and okay. So now we have our canvas settings set. The next thing we wanna do is go over to the scenes area here. So a scene is essentially a collection of different elements that go on the canvas. And those elements are referred to as sources, as you'll see here in the panel next to scenes, it's sources. So a scene is kind of like a grouping. Now OBS gives you a default scene because you need at least one scene to do anything in OBS. So we're gonna rename this scene by selecting it 
and right-clicking or control-clicking on it and going up to rename. And I'm going to rename this scene screen recording because that's what I'm doing here is showing you how to record your screen here in OBS. Okay, so now we have our scene. So now we need to create the collection of elements or sources that will make up our scene. Down here to create a source, we hit the plus button. And you can see we have this list of sources that we can create for our scenes. I'm going to go down here because what I want is Mac OS screen capture. And we'll select that. And then we have this screen that comes up that allows me to rename my source. I'm going to leave it as Mac OS screen capture. You can rename that whatever you want to. And I'll hit OK. And boom, all of a sudden, all kinds of stuff happens. So we get this screen that pops up. This is the Properties screen for the source. And each source has one of these Properties screen, screens rather, where you can change settings. So right now, we can see under Method, it's Display Capture. So what's Method? It's just what, what you're going to be recording, different ways of recording your screen. So Display Capture is going to capture an entire display that's connected to my Mac. Okay, so I am going to select my second display to capture. And I'll select that and you can see it pops up and you can see we have the OBS Studio website here. Now you can also choose to show or hide the cursor depending on what you're gonna be doing in your screen recording. I'm gonna leave mine set to show cursor. And then I hit okay. Okay, so now looking at the canvas, we have a bit of a problem. <laughs> the screen, the display is shooting way off of the canvas and that's what this sort of striped area means it means you have content that's outside of the canvas so why is this happening well it's because my canvas and my record recording is set to 1080p 1920 by 1080 but the display that i'm recording is actually a 4k display so it's overshooting the 1920 by 1080 it's an easy fix all we need to do is make sure the source is selected in the canvas and right click or control click and then we get this menu, we go down to transform, and then in the transform menu, we select fit to screen, and boom, the source is fit to the canvas settings. So here is my display. Now, you notice something happened when I set up and created my source, my Mac OS screen capture. Down here, if we look in the audio mixer area, we see we have a Mac OS screen capture audio source. What this means is OBS is automatically going to capture the sound from my computer or the sound from the screen capture. I'm gonna go over to my screen here and let's play a source and I can show you how this works. Uh, I have another, let me go here. I have a YouTube video, one of my YouTube videos right here. So I'm going to play this YouTube video on the screen. Watch what happens here when I play this. Ventura and have updated Look at that. Apple Keynote version 12 .2. We have you audio have being captured Ventura from this video, and we can adjust the level. It seems a little hot right here. It's in the red. By just grabbing and dragging this slider here, and I can bring back the level of this, say, to here. And look at that. We have audio. So if this is all you want to do, if you just want to capture the screen and audio, it's real simple here in OBS. Typically, when we're doing screen recordings, we want to do more than just capture the screen and the audio. We want to add in our face, right? Our face cam, our, our talking head. So how do we do that? Real simple in OBS. We just add another source to our scene. So looking at our screen recording scene right here, we already have the Mac OS screen capture source. So we're gonna go down here again to the bottom to the plus sign. And I'm gonna to go to my list of sources. And this time I'm gonna select video capture device. And so now I have again the little area where I can label my device. And I'm just gonna call this cam link 4k because this is my capture card that's connected to my sony a6400 that's capturing the video so i'll do that and then i'll hit ok and i get a properties panel again but there's nothing there well i have to select the device or the camera 
that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go here to the menu. Cam link's what I want, so I'll select that. And there I am, here, there I am, here, there, <laughs> in OBS. And I use preset high. You can, a bunch of choices here that you can use depending on the camera that you're using. It'll display different resolutions. I'm going to use high, works great for me, and hit OK. And there's my camera shot. Now there's a bit of an issue because now I can't see my screen capture anymore. And that's because if you look at the sources panel here, the screen capture is sitting below the Camlink 4K in the hierarchy in the panel. So anything that's sitting on top in this panel is gonna show on top. Now I do want my camera to show on top of my screen capture, but I just don't want it full screen. Easy fix, we just go up here to the canvas and you can see these red handles here. I'm gonna click and drag on the handle and just shrink my camera shot down. And we'll put it around like this. Now you can see that there's a bit of room on either side of me that I really don't want for this arrangement in the canvas. And that's easy to fix. We can crop that by holding down the option key and clicking and dragging and we can crop in our source here, our camera source. And the green dotted line tells you that, that that edge is being cropped. So in case you go back and you're wondering why the source looks that way. And then you can just click and drag and place. You can see it snaps into the corner. And there's my camera shot. But there's one more thing that we need here. And that is a microphone because no one's gonna hear me <laughs> if I'm speaking. Because all we have in terms of an audio source is the screen capture. So again, just like before, we're just gonna create another source. So I'm gonna go here to Sources panel, and I'm gonna go down here to Plus. And again, from the Sources list, this time I'm gonna select Audio Input Device. You can see a little microphone here, so I'm on the right track. And I'm just going to name this, I don't know, just Mike. Make it simple. And then I'll hit OK. And again, I need to select a device. The one I'm gonna use is Camlink 4K because that's the, the microphone that's connected to my camera. So I'll select that and hit OK. And you can see there is my microphone now. And it's a little hot here going into the red. Again, I can just click and drag and just bring that level down. So now we have the microphone and we have the screen capture. So all of our audio is set up. Our camera is set up, our screen is set up, we're ready to record. Now, before we do that though, like we did with the canvas, we need to adjust a few settings in order to record our, uh, our screen capture the way that we want to. So again, we're gonna go down to settings, select that, and we get the settings panel again. This time, we're gonna go to the output section here. And we're gonna make sure that output mode is set to simple, just to keep things simple. I'm trying to keep this demo simple. So we're gonna go down to the recording section here and we have a few settings. So this first setting here is recording path. This is basically where you want OBS to record your video to. So I just hit the browse button and that brings up the finder and I have a, an external drive that I use that has OBS recordings and I'll just select that. And now that's selected as my recording path. Now down here, recording quality. We have a few choices. I'm gonna select high quality. I've used high quality. It is fine for recording. So recording format, we have MKV. We have some other formats here, MP4, you know that one. You're very probably very familiar with that format. Being on a Mac, if I want to edit my recording later, I find the MOV format is just a little more flexible. Uh, encoder, you have some choices here, but I found that software uh, X264 is fine. And that's it. And then we hit apply and okay. And now we're ready to record. Okay. So to record, it's very simple. We just go over here again to the control section and hit start recording. And now we're recording. And you can see that down here with the little red dot that tells you that you're recording. And you can see that the recording runtime is going. And so here we are. So now I can speak. Um, and talk and do my and do my tutorial and I can go over to my my screen that I'm demonstrating here and you can see my cursors there and I can go back and I can play my video 
and then export the entire project. And the video's playing, and uh, you're gonna have to sort of play with the levels if you're gonna be speaking over your video. So I can just bring this down some more to this level. This is pretty good. And so I can speak and I can show my screen and we can do whatever we're doing, if it's a tutorial or a video uh, lecture. Let's stop that video here. Now to stop recording, we go again down to the control section and we just select stop recording. And it stops recording. And you get this little tool tip down here in the bottom that tells you where the recording has been saved to. To review your recording and find it, you just go back up to the top menu of OBS and go File, Show Recordings. Here's the latest one we just did. I'll hit the space bar to open it up in Quick Look. And now we're recording. And you can see that bot down here with the little and red there it is. that tells you that you're recording. Now that's just scratching the surface of what OBS Studio for Mac is capable of, both for recording and live streaming. It's such a deep application, and it can honestly be as complicated as you want it to be. And again, it's free and open source. So if you're interested in more OBS Studio for Mac tutorials, let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, have a look at these other videos on my channel.